You gotta know I'm feeling loved, made it go. I never loved another one, another you. It's gotta be love. I said it. You gotta know I'm feeling love. You gotta know. Hey there, this is Amira Syed with some more useful sales content. Um, so this is about how to walk away from the sale. So right now we're shooting this video. It's about August of 2015 and there's the presidential kind of primaries going on with Donald Trump involved. Um, and he's very, you know, outspoken. But I will tell you this, um, Donald Trump is definitely a closer. He's definitely a salesman. I remember reading one of his books back in the day and that, it's a quote that I'll never forget. He said, never beg when you sell. And it's resonated with me all through college and all throughout now. I, what I see a lot of average salespeople, the mistakes that they make is they try to get every deal done. Um, they try to squeeze a, a peg in a square, right? The weakest just strategy that, that you can possibly have because time is so finite as I always talk about. So what does it mean never beg when you sell? You have to understand and you have to make a determination of what you provide. If you are a Toyota dealership, you sell Toyotas and you become the best at that. You are not selling Beamers. So how does that relate in the different industries? In my world, we make it very simple. We are not a commercial lender. We don't do any renovation loans. We don't do reverse mortgages. We, we just, we're one to four unit in the Chicago area. We're very focused on first time home buyers. We have credit score limits. That is our niche. I always like to joke around and say, guys, we're an ear and nose doctor. We are not any other doctor. It's what we're really good at. You have to sit down and say, okay, what's the type of client that I want to work with, right? What's the geographical location? Chances are by the time you're stretched so thin either geographically or you're trying to win the deal because of greedy motivations, because of money, there's a very high chance you're gonna botch that deal up. Stay at zero, don't end up at negative two. Better to have a normal reputation than end up being bad. This is a perfect, no, we make mistakes as well, but every day we're getting better understanding what our niche is. So, some of the sales to avoid, as I always say, if you have a client that's combating everything that you're asking for up front, that's definitely a, a client that you don't wanna work with. Remember, you set the tone, you set the rules, you're the professional. If you're having a client um, essentially feel like they're putting a lot of pressure on your fulfillment, on your team, in your back office, that's a client you wanna walk away from. If you feel like you have a client that obviously demands a kickback or a bribe, why even make your cheap in yourself? Why do that? This is what you charge. I've seen the best of the best salesmen, let's say a real estate agent, everyone's charging 5%, they charge 6%. I had a conversation the other day with one of my best agents and guess what? Him and his team are gonna be top 10 in the state this year. This is what we charge, this is our hourly rate, okay? The other thing that I say is one way that you always wanna walk away is if you're getting a lot of negotiation up front and how you basically uh, operate. So if you like to meet clients face to face, if you feel as though you work a certain way where people have to go through a questionnaire before they work with you, you stick to that. You have to come back and say, look, it's malpractice for me to not go through my procedure by not asking you certain questions. This is how I operate. This is what makes me really good. This is success I've had before. Fire some of your clients. Fire some of your leads. Don't be everything to everyone and don't let them completely control your schedule. Take pride in your work. During that time that you would have gone through all that headache, you would have found another deal. You would have found another prospect or another lead that would basically go to your procedures, okay? That's a psychological thing, guys. Please, just, just take pride in your work. Never beg when you sell, okay? Talk to you soon. You gotta know I'm feeling loved, made it go. I never loved another one, another you. It's gotta be love, I said it. You gotta know.